people are talking, sure. Oh, the bats on it. Shh. Be careful. This is an insecure line. All lines are insecure. The question is whether we're afraid anymore. And? Are you lying? I don't know. This, this is the question. question. Be ready, be listening, and do not be afraid. This is Radio Elusio. the same threat and that's just what they're saying out loud what they're doing that's a different matter what are they doing whatever's necessary to keep people down i don't understand though how are you hearing this i have a receiver i can hear all over the city look you built all this how Sue's. I built a transmission on the 17th floor of an abandoned building before I even turned 15. I know about radio equipment. I figured it out. It's not that different to what I built at the tower, except it doesn't transmit, it receives. And what? You put listening devices on the street, in people's homes like they do. No, I don't listen to the city. I listen to them. They spy on the people. I spy on them, like a parasite almost. They're the big animal, watching, stalking. I'm the bug that's hitched a ride, buried deep in the ear canal, hearing everything they hear. Ugh. What? Nothing, just bugs. Ear canals. You don't have a less nasty way to explain that? I guess I haven't explained it to that many people. It's not really something I'm public about, for obvious reasons. You're not public about anything these days. People think you've disappeared. I know, and I have, in a way. The difference is, I did it on my own terms, before I was forced to. So you left the tower and came here? I moved around a little at first, but I couldn't find anywhere I felt properly safe until I came here. Only place in the city they can't hear you. They can't? We're over 20 feet below ground level. Even they can't listen to us here. That's why you feel safe, because they can't hear you? Yes. And because I'm not alone anymore. There are others. Of course. What? You thought I could listen to the whole city on my own? Come on, I'll show you. This is where we listen from, Suze. Who are these people? Some are like me, forced underground through threat of disappearance. Some chose to join, to do their part, to do whatever they could do. This is where those meetings take place, here? Not just here, there are a number of locations all across the city. There are a lot of people on our side, Suze, and that number is growing every day. And you all live here, underground? Most people still return to the surface some of the time. But not you. No, why would I? Down here, I can listen. Up there, I can be heard. I thought you liked to be heard. I do, but I like to stay alive more. That's why I don't transmit now, either. You don't transmit at all? I spoke up for a long time, Suze. Now it's my time to listen and other people's time to speak. Uh, Raphael? Joni, this is Suze. I thought so. Suze, I'm Joni. We spoke before about the meetings. You called in. I did. I wanted you to know that we were listening. 
and that we were on your side. I'm so glad you've joined us here. You and Leah really did something when you brought back Radio Lucia. Really started something. I didn't mean to start anything. Well, you may not have meant to, but you did. You brought it back to life. You woke it up and woke up this city. I've been trying to convince Raphael forever that we need Radio Lucia back. He said no, but you can't stop change. It happens one way or another, whether you like it or not. Whoa, you can hear them too. We're in their ears. We hear everything they hear. If they listen to us, if they listen to each other, we hear it all. Any update on the girl, 371? Are they talking about... Shh. Condition is stable. We're keeping a close eye on You managed to get the information yet? Nothing. She's still denying being part of the resistance, denying any contact with them. So what was she doing in the transmission tower? Claims she just stumbled across the building and decided to have a look. No one just has a look around on the 17th floor. I know. That's her story. And do you believe her? Let me talk to her. It's not that simple. It is! We go get Leah and we fuck up anyone who tries to stand in our way. We storm the castle, burn the building, smash every fucking window of wherever the fuck she's being held! If I knew which window to smash, then of course I'd be there with you, Suze. We all would, but I don't. You don't know where she is. I thought you hear everything those fuckers hear. I only hear what they hear. And they may be fuckers, but they're smart fuckers. They spend their lives listening to others. They know better than to reveal their location on air. So you really don't know where they're keeping Leah? I don't, Suze. I'm sorry. Then what the fuck are we even doing here? What's the point of listening if we don't know anything? Listening is how we learn. And yes, we don't know everything, and it is frustrating sometimes, listening, waiting for information, putting the pieces together, but it works. It just takes time. What if Leah doesn't have time? You heard them. Heard her. She's stable. She's safe. I heard my best friend being interrogated, then dragged away. 
That doesn't make me feel confident she's safe. Look, they think she has information. She's more valuable to them alive than anything else. And that doesn't fill me up with hope either. Suze, you need to trust me, please. Sorry, but I don't. It's your fucking fault Leah got involved in any of this in the first place. She went to the tower because of you. She was looking for you. Now she's gone, and the least you can do is go out looking for her. I am looking for her. Listening is how we look. We go racing around on the surface, breaking windows, burning buildings, without the first fucking clue where to even look. All that's going to happen is that we'll get taken too. So? At least if I'm taken, I'll be with Leah. Wait. What if that's the plan? What? Obviously only if you're comfortable with it, Suze. Comfortable with what? Being taken too. Being taken to Leah, leading us to Leah. Hold on. If it will get Leah back, I'll do anything. What do you need me to do? Go back to the tower. Start transmitting again. Then wait. It won't take long. They'll come for you. Take you. We'll track your location. Then no, we won't. We can't. Why not? We don't have the technology to track a moving body. And with communication offline, anything that emits a signal will be discovered immediately. They'll know Suze is working with us, and then... But what if you weren't tracking me? What if I tracked my own location and found a way to relay it to you? No, it's too dangerous. But... You're right, Suze. It is my fault what happened to Leah. I can't let the same thing happen to you. It won't be the same, though. Leah doesn't know you're listening. I do. I could speak to you, could tell you where I was, where Leah was. You'd be in the ears and I'd be right there in the eyes, the heart, the centre. I told you, it's not safe. You heard them, Suze. It's not safe for any of us. Maybe not. But what other choice do we have? She's right, Raphael. It might not be safe, but what is? It's our only option. And I think it's a good plan. And if it's not? Then we deal with that then. I'm ready. I'm here. I know you're listening. I know you're waiting. I know you're ready, so come get me. Come get me now. Sound my fucking alarm. She's really doing it. She really is. She wants to be taken, is asking to be taken. No one's ever done that before. No, but that's how change happens. This is an act of protest. This is protest. Me speaking like this? You listening like I hope you are. Anything from the watchers? Hold on. Inside the location, ready to ascend. Proceed. Only until the 17th. Christ, I can't listen to this. All we can do is listen. I use my voice. You hear my voice. And this is our protest. We have to go now to the tower to Suze. We have to make sure she's okay. I need to know she's okay. Joni, all we know for sure is that she's not there, not anymore. And all we can do now is wait. You want us to fucking wait. We have to wait for Suze to make contact. Once she knows her location, she'll find a way to let us know. And then we'll go up to the surface to find her, to find Leah, to make some change in this city. We will. I promise that we will. It's getting harder and harder to believe your promises. No word from her? No word. Still nothing. Nothing. No change? Yet still no change. Oh my god. Raph. Raphael! Are you there? I don't have long. She's made contact. She has. Listen. Suze, we can hear you. Can you tell us you're safe, please? She can't hear you. One-way transmission, remember? I don't know if you're hearing this, but if you are, I'm here with them. The only problem is, I still don't know where that is. It's dark. No windows, no signs, no way to know where I am. I haven't seen Leah. I haven't seen anyone apart from them. And no one's seen me. I really feel like I've disappeared. I hope you're hearing. I hope you're listening. If I believe that, then at least I feel less alone. She's 
she sounds scared. I'm sure she is. We're all scared. But at least she's doing something. Fuck! A watcher? She's using their radio. She's been broadcasting to them as well as us. Raphael, she used your name. I know. They'll know you're out here still. I know. They'll know you're listening. They'll cut us off. They'll come for you. Find this place. Destroy it and destroy us too. They'll destroy you. I know, Joni. So? So maybe you're right. Maybe now is when we need to make the change. You've been listening to Radio Elusia, a boundless podcast production. Radio Elusia is written by Nina Siegel. The episode was directed by Rob Drummer. Original music and sound design by Father. The series associate director is Robert Awasusi. In this episode, you were listening to Pip Williams as the recording and watch a what. Joseph Adelakan as Raphael. Chantal Amon as Suze. Megan Jarvey as Joni. Joe Matty as Watcher 2. And Valerie Van Sovica as Leah. The episode was recorded, mixed and mastered in London by Father. The engineer was Jamie Sprozen. Radio Elusia was commissioned and produced by Boundless Theatre. If you're a fan of the show, check out at Radio Elusia, hashtag Radio Elusia. Go further with the world of Elusia at welcometoelusia.com. Radio Elusia is part of Welcome to Elusia, an extended universe project co-funded by the Creative Europe program of the European Union. You can follow Boundless Theatre at Boundless Abound and learn more about the company by visiting boundlesstheatre.org dot uk